Hello everyone, this is Joni from Designs by Joni L. And uh, I am back with another tutorial on uh, a bracelet that, um, not a bracelet, I made a bracelet a while ago, that's why I'm thinking about a bracelet. A uh, heart necklace. And um, it's just a clear heart with, um, there's a little string that intertwines between, uh, around the center of the heart. And one is... Uh, a real light purple and one is a sort of a light light green and uh, because of the um, coloring in the heart uh, I decided on the colors of my beads because uh, I wanted my beads to uh, match and um, I have forgotten to get something I have to get some, one thing I'll be right straight back I forgot to um, get my little package out here that has my um, needles on them that uh, and some of you if you're new you're probably saying needles why would you need a needle with that uh, the reason why I need needles with them is because um, sometimes the uh, the hole in the bead is um, very small and um, you have to have uh, something that will help you uh, to get through that uh, tiny hole. And if you put a bead on it first, it helps it to pull right on through. And you don't um, spend a lot of time trying to uh, worry about that. And um, I'll just take, I might take one of these that already has a longer white piece on it, longer white. Because I don't have much on the black one. And I don't want to take time to uh, thread the needle. But um, this one would be, uh, I would put the, this one on this side right in the very end of the leather. And then I never can get it through there if it's really hard. So I just put it down and um, have it come through the... Um, push it through with the uh, desk. Now I'm going to, well I'll just leave that on so I don't think it will matter. There's a piece longer there but but now this should be doubled. Dear, dear. I'm going to have to uh, double this because I don't think it would pull it through if it gets tight if it um, isn't doubled. So that's another thing that um, you can find out. Um, always double your thread and uh, make a knot there. I always make two because usually my knots are kind of small and sometimes if they're not together I make three. And then you go ahead and insert that right into the tip of the um, leather cording. And um, then um, the reason why I chose the purple cording, as you can see, you probably already know, is because of the coloring of the uh, little strands inside the bead, I mean inside the, the heart. Um, I really like this heart because um, I knew that um, my daughter would like it and I knew that my granddaughter would like it. So um, I'm sort of, um, I got two of them, I bought two of them when I bought them. And they were not expensive at all. And I uh, just went ahead and bought two of them. I put some hand lotion on my hands while I go, and they're sort of slippery. Okay, now maybe we can go on with the task at hand. Okay, now the first thing that I do is um, I measure my cording to see how long I want it because. Most of us know what size uh, um, uh, cording you want to wear, what size necklace, and how long you want it to be. So I always put mine to where it's about 20 inches that hangs down. And I do both sides at the same time. Because as I have explained before, and some of you are probably getting tired hearing this, but I have new viewers every day. And so I'm just taking it for granted that there are some of them who maybe don't know how to uh, make jewelry because um, 
I know there was a time that I didn't know how, and I would have appreciated it if there had been someone that could explain to me um, how you did it. So I'm putting two uh, spacers right there, and I like them because they're bright and shiny, uh, like uh, some of the other stuff that you'll see here. And then I'm taking a bead here, and this has got a small, small hole in it. So that's where this comes in good of having the thread on there because I would never have been able to get the thread through if um, the knit, the uh, leather, if I had not had the uh, thread and needle. Because you can tell from the way I'm tugging it, it's, it's pretty tight. And I've got a pull on that right there to get it to go past. And um, then you just push this up against this and um, get ready for your next one. And the reason why um, I use, I do both sides of mine at one time is because uh, sometimes if I do a necklace and I do one side when I first started making jewelry, I would really like the uh, necklace, the one side. But then when I would fix the other side, I would find out that um, maybe the um, beads were too overwhelming or maybe they didn't fit exactly like they should on a particular side or something. There's a lot of the reasons why. but um, So I just started doing all of mine at the same time, both sides. And that way, if you like what you're seeing as you go through there, uh, you know that you're going to like your necklace. And um, um, as you can see, mine is um, looking pretty good. And um, as you can also see, I'm putting the um, light pinkish purple and uh, on there and that is matching uh, my beads that uh, I will be putting on and, and, and the ones that I have on right now uh, it matches it uh, somewhat the light pink does okay now here is the green and it has the wide mouth on it so um, I wouldn't have to have the needle there but um, it's just easy to go ahead and leave it on there until you finish all of your uh, uh, jewelry, putting it on here, all your beads. And this green picks up the green in the uh, heart now. And the purple cord uh, picks up the purple in it. And then the little purple spacers that I'm putting in also picks that color up. So it just follows it right on up the uh, necklace from the heart. You get that continuance of um, the colors. Okay, I'm going to put this on. I was thinking maybe about replacing this one for one of the silvers, and then I thought, oh, well, I'll just leave it there. And um, it's really no big deal if I change my mind later on and decide to go back and put a metal one on because it isn't hard, as you can see. And um, if I get tired of it or something, I can take it back and change it. Okay, now we have another one of the um, little itty bitty beads. I don't know why I have to continually go to the left of my screen. <laughs> of course, I'm right handed. I, I would think I would be going to the right hand side, but I always go to the left. Okay, there, that one was, see, it was a little bit hard to get on. And there it is. And we'll go over here and pick this one up. And uh, I'm sure just watching me work with this, you can tell this doesn't take long at all. And um, But uh, it's a very nice outcome for uh, the time that you are spending on it. And uh, that's one reason why I like this um, necklace is because you can have a beautiful necklace when you get through and without a lot of the time that you would have to spend. Well, my scissors are even becoming involved. <laughs> we have been um, watching our television some uh, and then the computer about the flooding in West Virginia 
and it just breaks my heart seeing all those people uh, and all of that devastation because um, I know how that feels because our house was flooded twice and we had lived there about 37 years, never had any problems at all. And then over a period of uh, one night, our house flooded. And um, so we had to fix it all back, take the sheetrock and everything out, the carpet, replace everything. And uh, it took 13 months to redo it all because my husband, he was a um, builder. And um, he, so he wanted to do it himself, but he was also working. So um, he did the work himself and just hired a few people to help. And um, it took 13 months, and uh, my son was getting ready to get married, and I was going to have him and his uh, fiance a shower the next day, and we were had moved our furniture and stuff, new stuff already back in the house. And um, that night it came another flood, and this time we had eight feet of water in the house. So, um, needless to say, there was no shower, and um, uh, we were just devastated again. And um, when you're, at the time that you think you're getting ready to retire, and you have everything fixed the way you think you want it and everything, it's really hard to have a flood come along and do that. And we didn't have any flood insurance because, as I said, we never had any problems with the water. So we didn't think about the flood insurance. And it was too, uh, there was some reason why we couldn't get flood insurance the second time, or we would have had it the second time. But we didn't. We didn't have it either time. So we had to um, take all of that loss and just smile about it and replace it and um, rebuild the house again, the inside of it. And so I know what these people are going through up there today because it's not fun at all. You can replace a lot of things until you get to pictures. And um, I remember my uh, uh, wedding, uh, my uh, wedding certificate. Um, it was so beautiful. It was gorgeous. And um, my husband's brother-in-law was a minister in the Baptist church. And um, so he performed a ceremony. And uh, he had such beautiful penmanship. And uh, so he signed it. And then my husband's sister signed it. And my sister signed it. And um, all of those people were dead when the house flooded and I went to um, take it take the certificate out of the uh, glass uh, frame that we had it in and when I did all of the writing just disappeared poof it was gone and I didn't even think about it doing that and I just sort of looked at it because it shocked me it was just one, one minute it was there and the next minute it was gone and it couldn't be replaced because uh, they had passed away, so it, that even made it worse. So um, uh, my heart is with the people in West Virginia today because there's just no words that can um, express uh, what they are going through today. I have to get my bust over here. And uh, I'll show you the necklace. Now, um, get this side here. Well, let's see. Okay. I think that these little icons on here make me think that there's something there that causes you guys not to be able to see it. And I know that the, uh, the icons do, do not come up on the uh, picture, but I have a problem thinking that it does. And uh, so sometimes I don't get it exactly right. But uh, that's the way that uh, it looks when you're 
very nice. Well, dear, dear. Let me set it down here and get it. Okay, now maybe I can make it up there. And you, can, as you can see, I hope you'll be able to see the little light purple and the, the light green um, lines through the heart, and the rest of it is clear. And then you can see why I chose to uh, put the other beading that I did with the uh, lighter pinks and the lighter greens. It looks very springy and uh, cheerful and hopeful. That's what it reminds me of, a lot of hope. And um, I hope that uh, you all will like this. And uh, I'm almost through with the um, jewelry that... Uh, I got as keychains, and um, I have uh, one, well, I have two more. I have a beautiful heart, a butterfly, and I fixed it all up with some beads, and I just have a little bit of more work to do with it to find out the, some other beads that I want to put with it, and exactly what type of, um, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to put cording on it. I'm going to straighten it on something else. So, um, I have probably, uh, I have a beautiful peacock that uh, is a keychain. So that's two, um, about three more necklaces. And uh, thank goodness I will be through with all the keychains. And um, I hope that you all have enjoyed watching uh, what all can be done with uh, just a plain little, uh, simple, inexpensive uh, piece of bling that people don't really pay any attention to. But when you take it and put some other beads with it, they look really beautifully. And um, uh, the new viewers who are watching my uh, video, um, if you don't already know, there is a place there that says subscribe. And that subscribe only tells you to uh, take your um, buzzer, your buzzer, oh my goodness, uh, I can't even think of the name of that, mouse, your mouse, and go over and um, hit that. And that will tell you after that whenever uh, I put a video up, a new one, then you will be notified that I'm putting a new one up. And you can look at it if you wish. If you don't, that's fine too. And then if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up if you like the work that I've been doing. So um, I guess that's it for uh, this video. And I'm going to try to put up two more this evening so that I can get these out of my way and uh, get on to uh, some decoupage. That's what I'm wanting to do next. So I will talk with you guys later. And you come back and we will craft again. Bye-bye.